What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to tell you how I became a Harlem Globetrotter. I played on the Harlem Globetrotters for three full seasons, traveled to over 50 countries with the team. It was some of the best years of my life. Back at the 2016 World Tour, it was the 90 year anniversary. And I'll show you my picture showing you that I was a Harlem Globetrotter. There's my boy Thunder, Hammer. Today I'm going to show you a few things that I had to work on to become a Harlem Globetrotter. It wasn't just slam dunking, it was also passing, dribbling, shooting, all the intangibles that come with being a Harlem Globetrotter and also your personality. My Globetrotter name was Smooth. And the reason that they called me Smooth was because my dunks were very smooth. Simple as that. Oh, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. All right, so one of the very important things as a Globetrotter that I had to learn was passing. Um, you know, if you watch the Globetrotters, they make a lot of crazy passes. I spent a lot of nights practicing this stuff, and uh, it was very tough. But we talking about practice right now. Uh, so right now, I'll show you five different passes that I had to learn while on tour. One of the passes is a wraparound pass. You actually punch the ball with your opposite hand. You put it right here on your left-hand side. And you punch it. So when we're playing, we put the ball here and you punch it. You don't ever, you really don't see the pass going. Boom. My friend, my old teammate Chris handles, he wipes his head, and then he punches it. This pass is the bounce kick. You drop the ball, you don't bounce it back, you drop the ball behind you, and as soon as you hear the bounce, you you kick the ball. Never saw the ball, just know that as soon as it bounced, kick. Every time. Another pass is I put the ball between my calf and my hamstring, right in that little pocket area, and I make a kick. So if I want to make a pass, wow. and then you extend it. <laughs> <laughs> you extend it. So you right in there, boom. It's like a chest pass every time. So imagine being in a basketball game or a globe charter game, and you see someone there, boom every time. Another good pass is another bounce kick, but you make it fancy. Woo. And you put all these passes together, you're gonna look pretty cool. You're gonna look like a globe trotter. Every time. And if you get really fancy, you can actually start adding style to some of your passes. You gotta put a little more flair on it. That's the globe trotter way, it's putting flair on everything you do. I learned this one from Bull Buller and Hammer. One more time. It's a good pass. All right. Next, we'll go into the spinning. Spinning the ball, that's very important. All right, guys. Reveal of the official Harlem Globetrotter autograph basketball. See some of my former teammates have signed this. TNT, Firefly, Handles, Flight Time, just to name a couple. Spinning the ball on your finger. I think that's something that's very traditional with the glove charge, just spin the ball on your finger. Uh, when I first got on the team, it was very hard. I could barely spin the ball for two seconds. But by the end of tour, after practicing for time and time again, I got better and better and better and then eventually perfected it. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. Uh, I like to use the laces, put my thumb on the lace and my middle finger on another lace. And I get a nice whip, whip at it. I can go clockwise or counterclockwise, but clockwise is best for me. Here we go. You catch it. What I always say is catch it like an egg. I got that from Scooter. So when you catch the ball, you let it drop onto your finger. You catch it like an egg. Let it spin on the groove of your nail. And you have fun with it. One thing about a, being a globe trotter, always smile, smile, no matter what. You're gonna make mistakes, but make sure you smile because when you're in front of big fans, they don't know you're making these mistakes. And if you do, you're having fun with it. So if you're having fun, they're having fun.
Then after a while of perfecting that, you can get fancy with it. Spin there. You can transfer our fingers. And that's how you do it. It took me about a year to learn this, but eventually I got the two ball spin. Woo! There you go. Practice that every day, guys. Take a ball to bed with you. And just remember, catch it like an egg, let it spin on the groove of your groove of your nail. That takes care of the spinning portion. Let's move on to jump shots. Next up, we got the four point shot. Now I believe the four point shot was 15 feet behind the NBA three point line. Very tough shot. I wasn't really much of a four point shooter, but when you're on the team, everyone had to learn how to shoot that four-point shot and get your range together. So, right now we've measured already, and we're going to say it's about right here where the four-point shot will be at. Some of the best four-point shooters that I've seen on the Harlem Globetrotters, my man Carlos English, a.k.a. Dizzy English, Cheese Chisholm, and Agassin, and Firefly, the best four-point shooters I've ever seen. One. Two. Four point shot right here. You know what? Why not give you one more? Come on. Okay guys, so far I've shown you passing, spinning the ball on your finger, shooting, Another step is ball handling. One of the things I'm going to show you is wrapping the ball around your arm. Pretty simple right now, but when you're in the game and you're getting, you know, you're getting a good pass, you want to have that wrap around making sure you look you look confident in what you're doing so the wrap around you have to add that to your game if you ever want to be in that magic circle you actually want to play in the game you have to have the ball handling skills so I'll show you a few things the wrap around and over the back wrap around over the back so if you put a few of these things together it looks good I'm spinning the ball the wrap around over the back. It's all about getting fancy with the basketball. What can I do to get fancy with it? I do things like maybe extend my arm. I make a self pass on my arm. Throw it off the bicep. <clears throat> Wrap around, off the bicep. Back to me. Put that together, boom, boom. Every time. Have that ball on a string. All right, I've shown you guys passing, spinning the ball in your finger, shooting, ball handling, and finally is dunking. But you know what? Before the dunking, I'm going to put all of the things that I've shown you together. That's how I became a globe trotter. You guys want some dunks? Let's do it. All right, I got my boy Josh. 
he's gonna give me some globe trotter like pass. Let's get to it. You ready? Right, let's go. Hey! Woo. Let's go. They call me smooth for a reason, guys. Make sure you guys are always smiling. Don't forget that. One thing about the Harlem Globetrotters is passes are so crazy. I mean, it's some of the craziest alleys I've ever caught. I mean, guys like Ant used to throw the ball up to the moon, Firefly, never even look. They just trust that the dunk will make the dunk. Trust you, Chris. Ready? Trust me, guys. Another thing that the Globetrotters love to do is juggle. You have guys that have that crazy ball handling skills. I actually learned how to juggle last summer. Not like a crazy requirement, but it's something that will definitely light the crowd up and people will love to see it. Let's All right. see it, Chris. All right, I got you. How am I doing, guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. They love that. Josh, what are you doing? You gotta do is work in some of your ball handling. That's it. Oh yeah, something like that. Yeah. Chest See, Josh already knew how to juggle before this, so I'm actually taking lessons for him right now. But it's you can also uh, juggling Josh. You can also juggle. Yeah, I didn't figure that part. Wow, nice. Feel so, like I've shown you the steps to becoming a Harlem Globetrotter, or the steps I took to becoming a Harlem Globetrotter. It was great. Love those years, shout out to those guys. Shout out to all the guys that I've worked with on the team throughout the years. Thanks, Josh, appreciate you helping me out. I'm ready to be a Globetrotter I now. I think he's ready. You know what? Except the last step. <laughs> Make sure you guys go follow Josh. Shout out to Caleb, he's here. Yeah, on the camera yeah, right now. He's next, you know, he's next. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's my story on how I became a Harlem Globetrotter. Stayed consistent, worked on all the intangibles of basketball, passing, shooting, spinning the ball on my finger, always smiling, being very consistent, and of course, slam dunking the ball. So, thanks guys for following me. Make sure you like and subscribe. Chris Staples, out. Done a couple videos with the club. Oh time. man. Taught me a thing or two. Oh man. How to do this. Wait, hold on, hold on. Josh, man, I'm supposed to be doing that today. Come on. Wait, hold on. Get in there. Get in Are there. you kidding me?